Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to do for them is the removal of the iCloud or the activation lock uh, security feature on Apple devices. It's something that Apple introduced back in 2013 to where when an Apple device is factory reset without first removing the iCloud account that's on it, it's then going to ask for that account again as a security feature after the reset or the restore has been performed. Now here with us today, we happen to have an iPhone 6 Plus and this one does have the activation lock enabled. As we can see here on the screen, it does tell us that the iPhone was erased and it's asking us to set or to log in to the previous account that was on the phone. And Apple has always taken security very strictly, so there are really no ways around this uh, when you're just looking at the device itself. There's no tricks to be able to get through it into the home screen or the settings or anything like that. And removing it's also very difficult because there are no computer programs or tools that are able to do it. Apple has always kept everything pretty locked down when it comes to their products and services. It's just kind of always been how they've operated. But we are making this video to let all of our customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from devices like this. It's actually something where with our contacts in the industry, we've been able to make a couple friends who work on the inside at Apple, and they're able to actually go in on the back end in Apple systems and simply detach the device from the account that it's currently tied to. Once that's been done, the device can simply be restarted, and then you should be able to get all the way through the setup without seeing that lock. We're using this device as an example because this is one that our client, that our contacts at Apple have already done for us. They've already detached this device from the previous account that it was tied to. So now, as you can see, all we've done is power it down and then power it back up again. And after it boots back up, we should be able to see that we can now get all the way through the setup without seeing that lock. So we'll start going through the setup process here, choose our language and our country, and we're going to choose to set up. And then it's going to say that it's going to take a few minutes to activate. And this is basically where the phone is doing its checks with Apple systems to see if it is tied to an Apple account or not, or to an iCloud account. And this right here would normally be the place where we would have seen that activation lock as we just did a minute ago when the phone was powered on. But now it's gonna continue and let us go through the rest of the setup process here. The touch ID and everything else are steps that we would not have been able to access previously while it was locked. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip through everything here and show you that we can actually get to the home screen. We're gonna skip the passcode, we're gonna skip data restore, we're gonna skip the Apple ID, and, okay, set up later, don't use, agree to terms and conditions, we're just gonna go with the express settings, keep skipping through all this stuff, don't share, Choose our display type, next. Okay, there we go. Welcome to iPhone, get started. And there we are. We're at the home screen. We have full access to all the apps and features of the phone. If we jump into the settings, we will be able to see that there is no iCloud account currently tied to this device. Up at the top here, it's prompting us to sign into the iPhone to set up iCloud. So if we go there, we can barely clearly see that this device does not have any account signed in. So it is completely free and clear of the last account that was on it and can now be used by anyone without having to log in to that account. Now this procedure can be done for just about any Apple device that has the activation lock feature. We're of course talking about iPhones, iPads, iPod touches, Apple watches, all of them. But it's not always doable in every single case. So if you have an Apple device that you would like assistance with that has the activation lock enabled, we would love to help you out with that. So get in contact with us. We'll just need you to provide some basic information when you do contact us in order for us to be able to see if it is one of the ones that we can do. We can do most devices, but I will caution you that not every single device can be done in every single condition. 
While you're here, also make sure to check out all the other videos that we have here on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find some there that could come in handy down the road. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding just like this one. For contacting us, I'll put all the details right down in the video description. And then I'll also put a slide here at the end of the video that has all the information there as well. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.